Get your hands up. And no quirks, got it? Use your powers, and I'll kill your friend here. Kaminari's Wait, what? Helpless. Damn villain. When did that happen? You can save either his life or your own. <laughs> now, what's it gonna be, girlies? Episode 13 in each of our hearts. Did I miss an end credit sequence? <laughs> this has been a huge maturing moment for the students, right? Five seconds ago, we were worrying about class rep and deceptive questions in English class. Now they're face to face with their mortality. And some of them are really stepping up, including Bakugo, which is great. He's kind of been dumped on uh, for a couple episodes, but he actually, here he is, bringing his, his talent to something useful. Yeah, they just look more grown up already, more mature. He's just as strong as he's always been. Damn it. Don't Got a lot of itchies. I do. Ooh, is, is there an insider? Well, come and get me, if you dare. He's kind of bluffing though, because he's out of time. <laughs> come on, Midoriya. We should regroup with the other guys. The last thing we want to do is get taken hostage or get in his way. Um, this isn't right. no. He can't beat them. He's got to leave, yeah. He's out of time. I don't know, man. The truth's got to come out eventually. I can't fight them. Look at him. He has definitely weakened. If you and I work together, we can do this. We haven't missed our chance to kill all Yeah, this can still go either way. Yeah. Consider this revenge for what you did to Nomo. Holy shit. This is bad. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Where is everyone? Well, now Deku, Deku's punches can actually... Do something, yeah. Don't you touch all my, you stupid villain! Oh no! Nice, wow, he teleported right through it. <laughs> Sue? <laughs> Sue? It's gonna be Sue. Oh, what the? Sue got a gun? <laughs> oh, what the heck? Who's this guy? Well, that solves the hostage situation. What the crap just happened? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, everyone. I know we're a bit late. Oh no. Oh no, it's over. Oh my god. Oh god. What have you done? <laughs> you brought the principal? You're all getting detention. Let me tell you why I know the principal kicks ass. One, he's just way too calm. He's way too calm. He's hiding something. Two, he's a tea drinker. And historically on this channel, tea drinkers kick ass. Three, he's above human morality since he's an animal. He'll just bite your face right off. All your extremities, gone. Just they're gone. It's now the adults really are here. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> he did, though. He did. Yes. That was very heroic. Thank you, Ida. You have resumed honor for your family. Gunman just seems too deadly. What is that? Like, electricity plus sound waves? Well, they're dead. Marshmallow barf. Oh. There's, like, so much happening. I can't even... Let's go home and try this when we... Oh my, oh my god! Oh, oh, whoa! We need someone who can catch her from a distance. What? He, he really just shot that guy. I feel like Gun Guy just validated Hans McGee's entire thing. <laughs> entire thing about violence. I get it now. There was no due process. There was no, like, warrant for your arrest. Yeah, that is a, a question now that I think about it. Are, are they above the law? Can you just shoot people? <laughs> There's something so graphic about having like a, gu a gun guy, you know, like I'm in this world of magical heroism, lightning abilities and ice and fire, all the elements. Whoa, that caught me off guard. I almost feel bad for him. You're going to do him like that, 13? You're going to black hole him? Poignant cough. Thanks for coming. What a day. It was a revelation we weren't prepared for, but somehow we survived. Only three more years left of high school. I wasn't able to help you. That's absolutely he not true. bought some time at least, you know, a couple milliseconds. You've saved me once again. Thank you, All Might. I'm always impressed by All Might's humility, you know, that... I'm just so glad that you're okay. We all are. He's really grounded in what matters, right? It's not an ego thing for him. If it was, he wouldn't be so giving of praise like that. He wouldn't acknowledge the fact that he's been saved. Think about Bakugo for contrast, right? He just hates it. You know, I wonder how much All Might thinks about the media thing. It doesn't seem like he cares about the attention that much, but 
maybe it's a tool for him to spread the image, you know, spread the, the image of goodness and peace and all those things. I bet there's some irony there too. I bet that's why some people, some heroes especially, might be put off by All Might because they might feel like he's very media focused. At this point, I'm writing my own fanfic. But I do feel like if you're really good at something or if you're really dedicated to something purely, you love to see it in others, you know? You just love when people are doing the things that you yourself are striving for. It ceases to be a competition because you're already resolute in your own identity and then you're just happy that other people are, are taking it on and you can actually share that. We haven't gotten as much of Deku All Might as we did early on in the show because they sort of like had to be distant as teacher student. But I do think that's something beautiful about their relationship is that they are similar and they inspire each other. I can't believe we let them escape after everything they did here. I mean, did you see how many bullets he ate? Ah, Kirishima. I'm glad to see that he's looking out for his friend. Oh, yeah. Crap, wait. I was about if to say that. Over here, he's gonna learn my secret. Not good. It's just a matter of time anyway. For your safety, please stay back, young man. Leave the injured to us. We can take care of them. Oh, gotcha. So many characters. <laughs> Cementos. Cementos. I'm actually a big fan of yours. Cementos, his quirk. Cement. Never would have guessed. That could have been really bad. I had to act recklessly, or else I'd be dead now. The stakes were very high. Just goes to show how strong those villains were. I guess it goes both ways, right? The villains learned something, but they also revealed themselves. Back to the villain bar. The League of Villains. Those kids were so strong. <laughs> yeah, you underestimated the students a little bit. Wasn't weakened at all. Damn. You were wrong, Master. So wrong. Master. No, I wasn't. We just weren't as prepared as we should have been. Thankfully, we failed under their cheap League of Villains name and not our own. <laughs> oh wow! So it was bland for a reason. That's great. Where is Nomo? In space. There was a kid there who tried to protect All Might. Like was a target. But this was not a futile mission. We've learned many things. Right, right. A lot. I must remain hidden in the shadows, which is why I need you to be my face. Next time, you will show the world that it should be afraid of you. I'm not sure this guy's the best choice to be your face. Maybe your hands? <laughs> well, that Zoom call made the villains a lot cooler. Because I was already impressed by Hands McGee, thinking he was the mastermind. But we just got a whole higher level of them, who are faceless so far, which is interesting. Twists incoming, perhaps? Everyone seems to be unharmed except for that boy whose legs were all messed up. It's always gonna be Deku. I had no idea you were so strong. I didn't know I was the only one on my own. I survived using hit and run tactics. That's true. I didn't even know she was there. I could have frozen her. Aren't you wondering about more? Yeah, where were you? Sparkling light. Interesting. So the people you fought were also low-level thugs. Yeah, they messed with the wrong kids, huh? Did you miss me? No. <laughs> Actually. Where do you think I was? Um, where? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he just gained 10 points. What about Mr. Aizawa? Asking the questions that matter. Sue. He's got facial fracturing. Sue. We have no way of knowing if his eyesight will be impaired once he's healed. Oh, damn. What about Deku? How's Midoriya? Midori. Ah, recovery girl is taking care of him, too. He's fine. Oh, thank goodness. Now, let's get you back to class. Okay. Back to class? They don't get the rest of the day off? still have some business in the nurse's office. I'll leave this to you, okay? Yes, sir. Leave it to the cat police. <laughs> it's cute, yeah. Very cute. Look at the cute little kitty. He's my new favorite character. After the principal. <laughs> Just the animals. That's That's all it takes. Come on, man, we're going back to class now. Yeah, yeah, I heard him, you idiot. I guess that goes actually great for Bakugo, because at least it gives him something to aspire to, right? He'll push his potential. I'd like to investigate every inch of the school just to be safe. Of course, please do. You'll have full access to the campus. Hmm, where is this detective character going, I wonder? I can't be sure yet, but I think I shortened my time limit again with that fight. I was worried about that, yeah. Every time. Hi, All Might. Been a while. What the hell? I didn't know that you were investigating. Oh, he knows. Oh, my. It's okay he's seeing you like this? Oh, yeah, it's fine. This guy's all right. Namasa Sukauchi, my best friend on the police force. He's legit, I trust him. <laughs> Got an inside man in the police. Very young Commissioner Gordon to his Batman. If you heroes hadn't risked your lives, the students would never have made it. You're not seeing the whole picture, Sukauchi. Those students also risked their lives. They fought as hard as us and not only survived, they learned what it means to be a pro. So, yeah. It's a big fourth day of high school. Filled with courage and drive. Always seeing the best in people. They'll become great heroes. Oof. 
damn, that feels good. And the villains, they did mess up because they just made this this class of students so tight with the teachers. And it goes both ways because the students saw the teachers rise up. Like, Aizawa literally almost died for them. No class will ever be the same with him. Like, they're gonna 100% love him. All Might, same. 13, same. And the teachers are also going to be more invested in this class now. They've shared something just way beyond the normal academic relationship. And just speaking as a teacher, those are the best environments when you are really connected to what you're teaching and the students are really connected to what they're learning. Like everybody's there and they know why they're there. That's when magic happens. So the villains just, they just woke them up. Shot of all their heroic faces, except for Menudo. <laughs> the invisible shot is great. I'm ready. Oh, that was short. I feel surprisingly touched. Like, it's very touching. I never expected that starting this show, but it keeps delivering in that way. <laughs> That's beautiful. They're good people. There's always something beautiful to me. First of all, just to see people working to do their best. It's such a simple thing, but it's just not supported enough. But then second, to see them acknowledging that about each other, I love that. Because even as obvious as some of these qualities are, you know, do your best, try to help others, have humility, learn little by little, try to be as strong as possible, take responsibility, you know, even though these, these things are obvious, they're difficult. And sometimes it feels like they go unnoticed. So to live in this world, in this community of people who are all doing that, and also who are aware enough, smart enough, conscientious enough to see the the beauty in each other and to have each other's backs like that, I need more of that. I think a lot of the messages in these shows are simple or seem simple because we know them already. You know, we, we've known them for a long time. It's just that in real life, it's hard to do them. It takes a lot of dedication to that. It takes a resilience for pain and for reflection and things like that. But it's there. And I think that unfortunately that creates a, a common mistake where because it's been seen before, people think it's trivial or maybe childlike or whatever. But no, I think at the end of the day, some of these things are the ultimate things. Just because we've heard it a lot, doesn't mean they're not really important, you know? Like, this is what I want. This is what I want for life. But let's finish the credits, because I feel like <laughs> there's going to be an ending scene. Good night. Thanks so much for your help. My pleasure. Be careful on your way home. Yes, ma'am. The true MVP, Nurse Pinaco. We were just happy to be alive, to have shown that we had the potential to be real heroes. But the worst was yet to come. Yeah, that was a very localized incident. What am I looking at? Well, glad I don't have to wait. <laughs> so that's the first season of My Hero Academia. And honestly, I'm blown away. I'm really impressed. It was only 13 episodes, but let's take a look at all the things they did, okay? First of all, it establishes something of a complex world and a lot of characters. I mean, we didn't go into depth for all of them, but I think the show does a good job signaling that they're all going to be important. And on that note, the characters they do establish are established beautifully, like All Might. All Might is already one of my, my favorite characters. Deku as... You know, as punching bag-like as he is sometimes, he's also lovable to me. I want him to succeed. I love his and All Might's relationship together. The secondary cast has a lot of potential. I love Aizawa. I'm interested in Bakugo. I'm interested in Ida. I'm already in love with my girl Sue. I got hopes that Mineto can, you know, mature out of this weird diaper stage he's in, etc. Thematically, it's really interesting to me because it takes something that I think has been kind of worn down, something that has a lot of potential to be tropey, but it's self-aware enough to take that and look at it and get deeper, get, get really into that, and sort of blast away some of the problems that these shows have created. Like I was just saying, I think maybe the reason why we we turn up our noses at this kind of story is because this kind of thing has been diluted. You know what I mean? There is something really important about heroes that we can extract as people, whether or not we have like superpowers or whatever, or, or whether or not we focus on fixing things externally or just internally. There are just certain qualities that work, you know, that are sustainable as individuals and that hopefully will trickle out into society and the world and make the world a better place. And those things are fairly well known. But over time, I think that the true nature of that, the real values-based information there is sort of lost and is mistaken for the just the heroes themselves and like the punching and the the abilities and all this stuff to the point where i feel like american heroes are are, are barely heroic in values you know they feel kind of mopey and overly emotional and not very internally intelligent if that makes sense so this show is a relief it's a breath of fresh air because it's like no this is what being a hero means and the exploration is so interesting to me as someone who looks for inspiration in shows to inform my own life you know this is what i want I feel like reflecting on this show has been really good for me, and I look forward to, to watching each episode. I come away from it feeling good, you know, I'm feeling optimistic. 
and feeling like there's more that I could do, you know, or feeling a little bit healthier in, in the way that I do things. Like I said, it's moving. And some of that is just great design, you know, like great music and great lines and things like that. But also the heart, I think, is, is really what does it. The heart of the characters. The fact that through their, their flaws and their, you know, actual quirks, not power quirks, they're really doing great things and they're, they're seeing the best in each other. So yeah, fantastic first season. And also defying some shonen tropes, this is a shonen, right? Of being kind of short, like there was no real filler. It felt really like tight. Everything was useful in some way towards character development or world development or just showcasing cool action. You know, it didn't feel like it was stretched at all. So yeah, I'm loving the show so far. I'm really excited for season two. Thank you for everyone for supporting the new series, for watching and for all the awesome comments. So yeah, that's it for season one. <laughs>